नमस्कार सभी लोगों को नमस्कार ओके लेट मी वेलकम यू ऑल बाय सेइंग प्रणाम्स टू ऑल एंड ऑल फॉर coming to the show that is poetic evening with fatal brains we are very much delighted to have you i thank one and all on behalf of entire team of fatal brains uh let's begin the show before that we let me say sing the sentence that let's wish for the world to sing a song of peace with that i would begin the program i will have pretty much of number so why would straight away go with our first guest who is the first timer to our show she is a well known writer in hindi english and she is quite great in name of herself she always appears on different literary platform she is meena chauhan uh mina chauhan ma'am welcome to the show we are it's pleasure calling you and to recite your poem of yours thank you thank you uh, i am mina chauhan hu and uh, i write some hindi english poem poetry uh, and uh, small uh, short story also and do some social work so आज मैं हिंदी में पोएट्री सुनाने जा रही हूं भाई बहन का प्यार भाई बहन का प्यार एक अनोखा है संसार में भाई बहन का रिश्ता एक अनोखा है संसार में भाई बहन का रिश्ता जैसे दोनों आंख एक साथ होते हैं भाई बहन के रिश्ते भी उसी तरह के होते हैं भाई बहन के रिश्ते भी उसी तरह के होते हैं भाई बहन के प्यार में बस इतना अंतर है भाई बहन के प्यार में बस इतना अंतर है भाई रुलाकर मना लेता है भाई रु, बहन रुलाकर खुद रो लेती है ऐसा है भाई बहन का प्यार भाई मुंह पे कड़वा बोलता है भाई मुंह पे कड़वा बोलता है पीठ पीछे तारीफ करता है भाई बहन की शान होती है बहन भाई की जान भाई पिता बनकर प्रेरित करता है कभी मित्र बनकर देता साथ कभी जीवन का शिक्षा देकर शिक्षक बन जाता भाई ऐसा है भाई बहन का प्यार दूर हो जाने से भाई बहन का प्यार कम नहीं होता दूर हो जाने से भाई बहन का प्यार कम नहीं होता यह तो ऐसा रिश्ता है जो उम्र भर महकता है यह ऐसा रिश्ता है जो उम्र भर महकता है भाई बहन की यारी सबसे प्यारी बहन कितनी भी पतली क्यों ना हो भाई कहता कम खा मोटी भाई बहन कितनी भी पतली क्यों ना हो भाई कहता कम खा मोटी बहन का प्यार किसी दुआ से कम ना होता बहन का प्यार किसी दुआ से कम ना होता ऐसा है भाई बहन का प्यार हर बहन करे ईश्वर से दुआ सदा मिले मेरे भाई को हर खुशियां प्रीत के धागों के बंधन में प्रेम में उमड़ रहा सारा संसार इसी सच्चे प्यार को दर्शाता है राखी का त्योहार राखी का त्योहार ये है भाई बहन का प्यार <laughs> बहुत खूब मैम बहुत खूब नाइस डेडिकेशन यू नो टू अस एंड ऑन ब्रदर एंड यस छोटे मोटे नोक जो के होते हैं वही इसी में प्यार बढ़ती है और उसमें ही सब कुछ <laughs> बहुत खूब बहुत खूब थैंक यू थैंक यू सो मच प्रसिद्ध थैंक यू थैंक यू फॉर कमिंग इट्स मोस्टली ऑफ इंग्लिश सो आई नो इट इज नॉट लाइक डिटेल सो वी ऑल वर लैंग्वेज सो अलाउड सो दैट इज द थिंग सो नीड टू कम 
thank you ma'am this is wonderful having thank you prashanna you I called me now... this is <laughs> it's my pleasure ma'am it's such a honor for me to so okay. next i'm going to call upon is something someone who is first time at to our show he is he is a well known author he, he is a publisher a short and he is he has having his own magazine you know that uh, that's being run for last 20 years and it is also been you know recognized by sahitya academy of india and, and that's a quite you know achievement i would say and the name of the magazine magazine he runs is sahitya triveni he is from bengal kolkata and uh, his name is uh, poet martand martand kavi <laughs> simply to say martha and kavi i would now request martha and kavi ji to come up on the show and read out his poem and you can introduce yourself martha and kavi ji please unmute your mic hello yes sir welcome sir uh, welcome ha uh, aap mujhe dekh pa rahe hain ha ji ha ji acha मैं आपने मेरा परिचय दे ही दिया है आप सब लोगों को मैं नमस्कार करता हूं और अपनी एक कविता आपके सामने प्रस्तुत करता हूं कलम के प्रति सुने कविता ए कलम चिर संगनी कवि की लिख दिए हैं गीत तूने देश के उन्नति पतन के खेत के कल्याण के वन के चमन के प्राण प्यारी प्रियतमा के प्रीति के रूठे सजन के चटक की चूड़ी पुछे सिंदूर के जलते कफन दर्द को दिल से उतारा गीत में तूने हर नयन के नीर से तू पीर हर लाई कौन भावों से करे कवि वंदना तेरी तू प्रिय राजा कवि की हीर बनाई दे रहा दस्तक तुम्हारे देश की दहलीज पर कोई लुटेरा या अंधेरा और तूफानी हवस ले आ गया फुटकारता कोई सवेरा या धरा के बक्ष पर बारूद गरजे या भवानी की भयंकर या भवानी की भयंकर आंख जब रंगीन होती है और सीमा चीखती जब देश का दामन पकड़ कर तब कलम तू लपकती संगीन होती है जब धरा धानी लहू से लाल होकर ट लेती अंक में आभा सिंदूरी पायली झंकार गुमसुम सांस की बाहें पकड़ कर नील नम में बिखर जब बजती अधूरी तब लिखे इतिहास जाते तब लिखे इतिहास जाते सत्य को दुत्कार कर झूठ को पुचकार कर हार में भी विजय स्त्री निखार कर किंतु कवि को यह नहीं स्वीकार होगा कवि का तो सत्य ही आधार होगा लिख सके होकर अभय हर बात कवि आजाद होता है क्योंकि कवि का हाथ पाकर के कलम को फूल सा कोमल नहीं औलाद होता है और युद्ध के इतिहास का तो सत्य तम मजमून होता है जब कलम की नोक में स्याही न होकर खून होता है जब चली तू हर हर आती कड़कड़ाई घोर तम की सबल बाहें तब निशा से हर दिशा से चीख की चिंधार की कूटी कराए किंतु तू ने रश्मि बनकर और चपलासी में चल कर घोर को संदेश भेजा और ले आई लपक कर नील अम्बर के भवन से चीर दिन कर का कलेगा खुद समाकर कालिमा में विश्व की कालिक मिटाने पर तुली है हर अंधेरी रोशनाई में कलम तू रोशनी की धार लाने पर तुली है 
तो चली चल तो बढ़ी चल हर निशा की हर दिशा की राह तो तुझको तो खुली है आप ये चल हर झरी पतझार में तू मुश्करा ऋतुराज बन जा और मेरे हिंद की हृदय शरीर की भारती के भाल का तू ताज बन धन्यवाद धन्यवाद Excellent, sir. Excellent. The power of pen you described in in or in in your poem, the power of an entire description. We uh, with the, with pen, what you can do? No, what you can can do? Just bina bina the kalam ke bina siya ke kabi nahi hota. So, bunda peshke sa. Thaniwa, thaniwa, dhane ke liye aur peshke ne ke liye. Thank you, sir. Now let me call upon our next poet, who is from. He is something like my younger brother, and he writes a wonderful poetry, I would say. And he is his style of his own, and I love him so much. He is Aftab Tariq. Aftab. Aftab. Aftab Tariq. You are there here. I, he was there for a little while. Aftab has gone. Oh my God. <laughs> okay, let's go to our Acharya Ji. So Acharya Ji, I welcome. I Acharya Ji is not in. He is none other than a lantern carrier for me. So I welcome lantern carrier to recite his poem. He says a spiritual master, in other words, I would say for you all. No, I welcome Lantaria and ask him to say as his poem. Thank you. I will do two pieces. I was stroked gently by a brilliant aura of radiant light, exalting me to the pinnacle of the sun. She cleaned my tongue with a heart's fire, erasing the venom handed down a heritage from my ancestors. Hand in hand, we walk through a pillar of blazing lanterns, me reeling as in a drunken stupor, as an immaculate delight demanded the removal of all impediments, covering the supernal grandeur of the spirit. Ah, what perennial excellence. The shooting stars dance with moonbeams, love's lute resonating symphonies in the garden of my being. Now timeless, timeless, timeless is the moment as we waltz and embrace like a ballerina, hearts pulsing our arterial rhythms in the bosom of eternity. Sweet infinity, a moment, my lover supreme, tarry a little longer. I know not whence I came, nor where I'm going. I am intoxicated, lying days on the lap of the beloved, and my soul sings King David's psalms in the sweet cavern of the heart. Poem two. Long was the journey and difficult the terrain. I lived for eons in the valley of guilt and remorse, my inner lover uninvited, with no one to protect me from destructive tornadoes and huge tsunamis. Sucked into the mundane allure of transient cravings, I was a flame clouding its own light by the darkness of its smoke. I made friends with illusions and dined with shadows believing the temporary highs to be my ultimate pleasure. Yet I was unhappy as I walked, my emotions swinging up and down like a Libran pendulum, stabbing my wounds with the red blood of lamentations, frayed nerves, and troublesome desires. I was a glittering Mercedes concealed in the deep fog of pollution. How I longed to emit the wafts of jasmines, sending out fragrances to lovers. Yet I was in severe pain as the soul bled in the agony of my longing. Alone in my arid desert, I longed for the oasis of my beloved, my heart shedding streams of copious tears. She came suddenly, like the candescent moon swallowing the darkness, the shooting stars dancing above the blackness of the night. She was like spring breeze caressing my cheeks. Her sweet kisses erasing the scars of my struggle, even while guiding my path with the flame of a lighted lantern. 
I had tried hard to hold back the tears, still ended up crying like torrential rain. I failed to enjoy this dunya, this field of challenges, until your lips kissed my impediments, even as your smile stroked my sorrows, healing the blockages in a fallen heart. Now sunrise sings to me of splendor, even as sparrows and canaries enchant me with new symphonies, and I cup my hands in gratitude, a once helpless prodigal returning to his celestial home. Staring down the precipice of a life of mistiness and gray clouds, Orion came and sat at my table, even as Saturn stabbed my soul with the blue rays of an effulgent light. Now I find it hard to contain my happiness as a new dawn begins and daybreak sings to me of love. At last, my beloved wears the red roses that I plucked, unraveling the sweet essences flowing from the breath of my soul. She moistens my parched lips, setting me free from a millennium of yearning. Andromeda glows through the constellations, blending with love in a silent sweetness, even as the sun smiles, transmuting the energy of a deathless flame. Bunton Carey. Thank you. Wow. How wonderful, wow. beautiful. Thank you. Thank you. A deathless Thank flame. You. That was superb, sir. Final concluding words. <laughs> Extraordinary. Thank you, G. Thank you, G. That's why it's like poetry, you. sir. In other words. <laughs> so now we have another guru in with us. He is Richard Spisak. Thank you, Lantern, sir, for coming. Thank and you. Shukriya, Shukriya. I love the world bosom of, you know, eternity. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Now I will request the speaker speaker, Spisek, sir. Thank you, my friend. Thank you so very much. It's an honor to be among such an august company of poets. I have a little something to offer you that I call About Spider consciousness. Uh, many times the, those of us who have spiritual interests try to put ourselves in someone else's shoes uh, to imagine ourselves in another being. And uh, it's an ancient exercise to, to imagine the life of another creature. So I thought, try a, a very, very different creature. So here we go. A spider. A spider consciousness. I try to imagine processing a world with multiple compound eyes, a dozen dancing, darlings, dodge, catch, caught the latching, laughing leap, the tender fibrils, dance, extending from each chancing, glancing limb, sensing not only the earth's passing exhalations, but also the immense, intense staccato pressure of a passing, flapping fly, or the dallying, crazy, bouncing, flouncing dance of a butterfly's weaving chance, passing, flashing by a dozen sparkling, spying eyes. What a marvelous, dazzling, darting life it must be. Then we see Bouncing onto our dancing dinner mat, some delicious gentle flies prance, excited, iridescent in its fast beating enthusiasm. We're wakened from our dreamy musings, from our synomulant dreams of dizzying heights and leaping captures. Such strong drink, freed from its shiny broken mask, pinned, forelegs wrapped taunt, and tugged secure. We leap, looping our shining threads over wings and legs. Our dinner companions repose, and soon, when the soup's on quite ready, and now dessert arrives. What shaking, steadying pulse, another beating tattoo on the world's great drum ear. Listening to each captured foot tug, straining its pulsing print, Tug, lag, tugs, exhaust, each beating, calling, food here, food here, tap, pause, tap, tap. 
share its snarling snare, its translucent wings and many faceted eyes, staring, sparkling shimmer. How I must chime and chortle each time as I pass my looping dance, staring wildly, immobilized by my snaring, snarling loops, my dance magnified and multiplied in those myriad shimmering eyes. Straining, each wing inevitably pinioned is my plan. How many must he seize of me as we approach and bounce on my darling sparkling carpet, fresh woven of dreamy, dazzling diamond silk? Through airlets and raindrops pelt my bouncing threads, each one by one as dinner desks arrive, I must chance my ancient dance for them, first this way and that sway as we waving day together, each loop quieter and smaller than only little snug tugs. As I above my special sauce prepare, high above the loving ground, we airily float and dancing amid the shaking leaves and the towering trees. Slowly, slowly gather here for my bounty, dining complete. I clean each febrile leg, wiping my sweep, keeping each fine bristle free to glisten, listen as they each Eat the hungry air for me, each tender touch, each kill courtesy, curtsy and bow. And look, in comes the guests now. They call, after all, to brush my unrushed stay. They found their dizzy dance airy way here into my hungry, hungry heart. Each enthusiastic guest bring their own special gusto. Each thrill signals zest their vital urgencies, auguries, while I wait. My hungry children are at their tumble play. Spider's life. <sighs> That's what we call spoken poetry. Something I would uh, tell me the spoken poetry in your performance. You know, you always very unique, unique, <laughs> unique, unique. Exactly, so picture us. You know, the image is crystal clear before us. That is the wonder of your poetry. And uh, uh, something called, you know, it's an experience when you like, get to listen, get to watch. So something similar to we have, you have a mega star in India. We, I have a special place for him uh, in my heart. And he's a performer, he's a spoken word artist, he's whatnot, and he's Anmesh Mohitkar. That's Anmesh the life. Thanks. Thanks a lot, uh, Prasanna. You are wonderful, man. Thanks for your support and encouragement. Hello, everyone. Uh, so I will uh, read two poems, one in Hindi and one in English. And here we go. Band rakho darwazo ko kiwado ko taale thok do. Band rakho darwazo ko kiwado ko taale thok do. Fake do chabiyo ko dil pe pehre laga do. आंखों को आंखों को अंधेरी की ओर रखो उजालों को अंधेरे से बुझा दो फिर अकेले में आंसू बहाओ फिर अकेले में आंसू बहाओ कि दुनिया जालिम है कातिल है तुम भी खिड़कियों को जरा सा खोलना उजाले की ओर आंखें करना अंधेरा कायम तुम चाहो तो भी नहीं रहेगा रात पे मात सवेरा करेगा उजाला कल फिर से होगा ताले फिर से खुलेंगे अगर नहीं खुलेंगे तो टूट के धाराशाही होंगे दिल से दिल मिलेंगे पहरे उठेंगे आंखें खुलेगी फिर से एक नया सवेरा होगा नई किरण नई सांस फिर से एक नई आस फिर से एक नई आस ये मेरा पहला था बहुत बहुत शुक्रिया दूसरा एक एक्फ्रास्टिक बोलते हैं एक ब्लू कलर का एक पोर्ट्रेट था विच वॉज देयर ऑन द सी अ लेडी लाइंग ओके इट वॉज अ कॉम्प्लेक्स पिक्चर वास्ट ब्लू ओशन The waves unusually quiet, tired of the ebbs and flows. There I see her eyes, staring at nowhere, looking at the blues of life. 
she is at the crossroad spread on the canvas of blue ocean the crossing she never wanted to cross bearing the cross of the lover who crucified her her own blood bloodied her feeling her heart with the lava of hate which can boil the freezing oceans her eyes so cold that the burning desert can feel the icy snow winds still there is a resolve on her face like a cornered cat cat determination to right the wrongs like a traveler taking a wrong turn but determined to reach the destination course correction is what she wants very few options in this world for a traveler who is on a wrong journey there they they will never let her change her ways they never want wronged people walking on their self righteous ways i see the longing for life in her beautiful tired haunting scared eyes the blue water flowing through her veins the aquatic plants surround her trying to claim her as one of its own the tears mixing with the ocean water carrying the tale of her pain to shores unknown i am standing on the shore falling apart like old broken guitar strings i don't know her tragic life but her eyes makes a connection with the same blue blood flowing in my veins flowing in my veins thank you thanks a lot my goodness my goodness what an imagery what a performance gave it up for anvesh anvesh unmesh mohit kar kindly mute your mics and unmute your mics you could react anybody could react nobody ron bremner okay we are too stunned to react <laughs> so overwhelming <laughs> it's overwhelming i would say overwhelming performance is a poet performer and a remarkable poetry that he has recited so she's the first one where really how we shut off people you know when we keep people away we keep life away and then we search for the same things and feel lonely you know it's so true of so many of us the isolation uh, you know so thank you so much wonderful poetry wonderful thank you ma'am with that continue i in the spirit i would like to call upon my young brother at poetastic he calls himself he is a d4 man thank you my brother like no other with bird with um words like thunder thank you thank you thank you my name is ed potastic or feel fantastic please give me time to enjoy my rhyme for the sublime i got one sort i got one piece so you know it's going to rhyme the first piece is called we can rise we can rise oh pain don't be abstain we can rise no pain no gain we can rise fear don't let it be contained we can rise experience can't be disdained we can rise break out of the mediocre domains we can rise destroy your heavy chains we can rise use your colorful abyss brain we can rise chug it down like tasty champagne we can rise down the hungry life strain we can rise spread across the plains we can rise eat the very bitter grains we can rise many hardships we slain we can rise ride the rough dirty lanes we can rise run a spiky terrains we can rise control the hellish trains we can rise drink the acid rain we can rise embrace your messy stains we can rise time won't be in vain we can rise our trials make us more humane the more pain we suffer the better we can rise push on go on live on please don't suffer and complain yay <laughs> wonderful thanks sadi thanks coming thanks for coming thanks for you know utterance and now i would like to call upon isaac cohen from israel isaac yes uh, thank you kumar and thank you all my friends today is a 
only day in uh, Israel, and uh, I read uh, today two poems. The one, uh, Mother Dumpling. Uh, this is a nano poem. Mother, Mother's Dumpling is the wire connecting uh, uh, connecting my soul to paradise. And the, uh, the second I the coin, the child and the flower. The flower whispered to the child, let smell me, but don't pick me. The child answered, I agree. The child became a friend of the flower. The flower heard about first loves. The child not heard the flower and carried it for him. When the child was uh, uh, sick, he smelled the flower as was it. As years went by, he built a bench near the flower and they continued speaking like a loving couple. Thank you, Adika and Israel. Thank you, all my friends. Thank you, Isaac. Thank you. Thank you for your smiling voices. And you always, you know, <laughs> now you're a king of nano poems, no? <laughs> and it's time yeah. for your uh, prayer, I think. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yes. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Something, uh, something before. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Isaac. And, yeah, and thank now you. I would like to call upon our very own poet who is very active on you know literary platforms she is from Bahrain and she is quite and I must I'm I cannot describe her she is Nivedita Roy and I welcome Nive, Miss Nivedita Roy to kindly recite her poem thank you Prasanna greetings from Bahrain to everybody present here what an honor to interact with such a lovely gathering so inspired by Unmesh and a lot of others I bring a turmoil that stirs within. Prasanna, am I audible? Perfect, perfect, ma'am, perfect. Okay, thank you so much. There shall be uprising, there shall be uproar, there shall be dissent as a turmoil stirs within. Can hear a rumble in the skies, can feel the tremors within the earth, can see a beaconing light as a turmoil stirs within. When there are murmurs to curb the voice to curse, when there is suppression with no remorse, a turmoil stirs within. When there are efforts to deny history, when there are thoughts to defy sacrifices, when there are allegations yet not proven, a turmoil stirs within. The feet that rushed a thousand miles, the eyes that longed for a respite, the pain and hunger that did not subside, then a turmoil stirs within. It's glaring in the face, the truth must triumph for our race. History will archive these years, wherein a turmoil stirred within. Thank you, friends. That's such a powerful, profound, Poem on turmoil. Wow. Wonderful, wonderful. 
thank you man thanks for coming and thanks for taking your time and coming you know reciting your poem and presenting a wonderful poem that you're thoughtful in one in fact i would say and now i would like to go upon and call upon bogdana from romania hello <laughs> well i tried to listen to your poems all of you uh, some some of them i understood some no because i don't know the language <laughs> but I try to, you know, show respect even if I don't understand. Uh, I don't write so long as other poets do. I, you know, for the people who already know me, I write short poems, but I try to give a strong message. And I will offer you today my poem called Napkins. We use napkins when we cry to clean our face but we could be napkins for others to delete their pain and sorrow. Human napkins, full of friendship. And the others could be napkins for us. If all the people could be napkins, nobody would cry. This is all. I told you that I have short poems. <laughs> you, could, you, could, you could recite another one. I mean, you're small. No. Uh, okay, another one. I will try to find one in my book because they are already shorter, shorter, shorter. This one, I just wrote it a few days ago, napkins, and now I will try to find um one from my book, My Soul Pyramid. I think I'm going to say this one, fortune teller. I don't know if I would like to be a fortune teller. I don't know how I would react if I would predict unhappy things, if I will be able the, to tell the truth to people, or if I would feel miserable and prefer to tell them a lie. This is a hard choice, especially when you are working with porcelain hearts. This is it. <laughs> Beautiful, beautiful, Bogdana. Thank, <laughs> Thank you. That's you. sweet. That uh, you know, it's a short one yet very effective one. I would say. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks for coming and thanks for you know rendering. rendering yes, your... I I heard her the other day and she said poets are magicians. That is true. You are a magician. I must uh, say. I yeah, I was <laughs> saying that in the interview. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> about yeah being poet is somehow i think it's somehow like a magician because you you have somehow the trick but you expect people to you know you don't give them the trick like take this no you just wait for people to discover the trick because this is yeah. their mission to discover you you're like a magician you only do the trick and wait people to see you know the effect and everything so i don't know if i'm a magician for my poetry but <laughs> I'm trying. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. On that thank note, you, Mrs. Rupal. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you, Rabogdana. Thank you for in, uh, reciting your poem. And now let me go across to your new joy and uh, new your poem. I, I have. Okay. He's a new tour. I think he has left the show. I... Okay, now let me call upon our senior most member of the group, he is Hasmuk Mehta, sir. I welcome Hasmuk Mehta, sir, to recite his book. Good evening, all. Good evening, <laughs> we are all friends. You know, I have written on uh, this subject that we are friends. And I have one more Hindi poem, if you allow me. I'll continue with uh, two, but first uh, I'll uh, continue with my English poem. Yes, yes, so yes. In, I'll go ahead. Go ahead, sir. Go ahead, sir. Go ahead, sir. Okay, thank you very much. So I'll return about we are friends. Yes, we are friends, but sit on extreme ends, often end up in fighting, but meet again and delighting. We have differences and draw inferences. Our minds never meet, but we daily greet. Never see eye to eye, 
but sincerely try to patch up and catch with the no letter to defer is a right to fight for the right it is an instinct and patient for the good relation if don't defer and offer make submission it is not an assertion of self pride meet the people share their struggle you may find they essentially differ but calm down soon and after human nature is a good it is thought for food more you probe with an anxiety less shall be the enmity so this this is all we are friends stand for you know and uh, i uh, close with this poem and if you agree i will sing my hindi poem if you if you allow me go ahead sir go ahead sir please okay main hamesha mangu prabhu se duhai this is uh, what i have uh, tried to put in main hamesha mangu prabhu se duhai na prem ko janu ya akshar dai banke rahungi teri parchai अब तो बना दे मुझे तेरी लुगाई मैं हमेशा मांगू प्रभु से दाई मेरा पवित्र मन चंगा है मान ली मैंने कठरोत में गंगा है उसका बहना मेरा सौभाग्य है बाकी तो मिलता अपने भाग्य से है मैं हमेशा मांगू प्रभु से दुहाई मैं लड़ जाऊंगी और मांग लूंगी ना भी किया तो नहीं मानूंगी किसी भी हाल में मनवा के रहूंगी दुआ मांगूंगी मन्नत रखूंगी पर पीछे नहीं हटूंगी मैं हमेशा मांगू प्रभु से दुआई मैंने तुझ में देखा है सादगी का चोला है बड़ा बड़ बोला है दिल का साफ और मत वाला है मैं हमेशा मांगू प्रभु से दुआई मेरा मन तूने हरा है भीतर से वो उछला है मनमानी करके तुला है बार बार मुझे सुनाता है मैं हमेशा मांगू प्रभु से दुहाई तेरा तन भी सुंदर है और मन भी समंदर है गहरी छाप छोड़ता है दिल पर विवश होकर समर्पित हो जाता तुम पर मैं हमेशा मांगू प्रभु से दुहाई यदि मन हो मेला तो हो जाता केला मन में घुटन और विचार विशेला ऐसा प्यार मुझे मंजूर नहीं हजूर के बारे में सोचता ही नहीं मैं हमेशा मांगू प्रभु से दुहाई मेरा तो मन है मंदिर हल लो मन प्रवेश कर लो भीतर ना रखो अंदेशा और रखो अंतर मैं नहीं जानती कोई जंतर मंतर मैं हमेशा मांगू प्रभु से दुआई इसी के साथ मैं एंड करता हूँ मेरी पोएम धन्यवाद सर धन्यवाद बहुत तुमदा प्रस्तुति थैंक यू थैंक्स इट्स अ वंडरफुल प्रेयर आई वुड से वंडरफुल थैंक्स फॉर कमिंग से ऑलवेज यू नो यू आर वेरी मच स्पीटेड आई वुड से एंड दैट नो इंस्पायरिंग ऑलवेज वेन यू आर हैविंग यू नो वी है यू आर ऑल thank you thank you thank you one thanks thank you once again now let me call upon uh i the one who is you know intently listening and watching and uh, and uh, she is wondering what i'm doing here and uh, i don't know uh, <laughs> she is she she guessed it right yes she is janata ma'am <laughs> yes good evening everyone good evening ma'am so i think that last week we missed everyone uh, we missed this cherishing moments we missed and i was just uh, texting him and asking where is the link where is the link we don't have for a fertile rights meet so anyhow uh, this uh, every week uh, sunday we all will be expecting this uh, moment that seven o'clock to join fertile rights and that is something actually soothing our heart 
and one week duration of work and the last sunday will be refreshing with all these poems and all the beautiful faces of my dear friends so i'll give my poem dumb damsel i am muted doubly muted to the events and sacrament curses each day starts with the blessings of mother in law's chanting mantra of humiliation and hypocrisy three a day i take like tablets before and after food to slake my thirst to live not only audiences pressurize me but the spears that rise from them hurt and horn me crushing me like the love to lurk in the but i love to lurk in the oleander fields which we the soft tender canopy for me where i love to cuddle and sleep aner of the flashing in humanities that cloud in the mind of the all avatars i am noted and notified as shriveled leaves on the dry terra can anyone tell me why i am trampled again and again to the edges of the endurance to be broken beaten and bruised o oh heaven me the dumb damsel aspires to long love and live in this paradise thank you thank you <laughs> very powerful when i my god you are noted and notified definitely <laughs> undoubtedly <laughs> ma'am uh, so much of the you know literary aspect has gone into <laughs> thank you ma'am thank you thank you for coming and the, just uh, i love the way i mean you get you know you said uh, you know before the in a uh, very reciting your poem i i really thankful to you you know for giving such an honor you know thank you ma'am thank you yeah thank you so much i have to be thankful for all the great poets giving space for me this budding one here in the midst of you thank you yes. thank you now let me call up one our regular yet you know she is i mean everyone you know um knows her and she is uh, she has she is a graphic poet i mean she design she writes and designs on computer and she is from greece and she is now alexandra sarapolo can you um see the the graphics going by yes yes okay Το αδίξον συμφέρον και εκ των διαφερόντων καλή στην αρμονία και πάντα κατέριν γίνεστε. Contrasting elements converge and from their union the most beautiful harmony is born, Heraclitus. And the river flows, the never-ending flow, and our bodies go against the flow, and our bodies go with the flow. so many people suffering ailing so many people flourishing blooming synthesizing turquoise love and kindness like a colorful blossom on a tree directing balancing our physical body our beauty into health strength vibrancy healing weakness disease releasing our spirit into mystic quality fly 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 and the river flows the never ending flow and our minds go against the flow and our minds go with the flow so many people devising propagandizing discordant ideas so many people initiating rippling harmonic ideas synthesizing turquoise love and kindness like perfect symmetry in an uneven diagram directing balancing our thoughts our words into order clarity relief 
subduing darkness, chaos, releasing our spirit into mystic quality, fly, 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 and the river flows, the never-ending flow, and our hearts go against the flow, and our hearts go with the flow. So many people fighting, taking a dislike to each other. So many people collaborating, taking pleasure in each other's company. Synthesizing turquoise love and kindness. Like a spark of fire in the darkness. Directing, balancing our emotions, our passions into hope, courage, brilliance overcoming resentment, fear, releasing our spirit into mystic quality, fly, 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 and the river flows, the never-ending flow, and our souls go against the flow, and our souls go with the flow, so many people gloomy, stressing outside their magical world. So many people glowing, shining inside their magical world. Synthesizing turquoise love and kindness. Like the fluorescent glow of a firefly. Directing, balancing our intuition, our flame, into aspirations, visions, luminance phosphorizing visible, invisible, releasing our spirits into mystic quality, fly, 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 and the river flows, just let it flow, thank you. Wow, fly, 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 from fly cities, mystical and magical as always, metaphysical. Thank you, Alexandra, for coming and, you know, you have other bottoms up, you know, waiting for you. <laughs> okay, all the best for that. And thanks for coming. Thanks for taking your, your time. And, you know, as always, I express my deep gratitude and the respect you show for the fertile brains. <laughs> yeah. Now, <laughs> let me call upon our very active member in fact uh, she is very senior senior most member i would say um i, I, I mean I'm, I'm i'm at loss of words when i i would like to introduce but she has such a long profile so i would just take her name her name is dr molly joseph Thank you, dear Prasanna. Once again, happy to be with our poetic fraternity. Last time I couldn't make it. Yes. When I was uh, listening to so many poems, the thought of the enigma of life, what is this life? That, that thought lay heavily on me. Just like lantern taking us to the spiritual grounds. And then Rick speaking on spider, and how it signifies so much. I am just reading out to you my thoughts on life. My poems always try to grab immediacy. I catch a moment and into it I put all my thoughts together. That's it. So here's a short poem. The thoughts that struck me while I was traveling in a car returning home after a funeral service. Here goes the poem. Life. The car speeds off. Noon time. Outside. The heat thickens. Outside. The heat thickens. Blurring you with the glare. It's your return after a funeral service. You walk through the valley of the shadow of death. The psalm resonates. 
how shaped chimerical flash dance while you look ahead the winding road that stretches life from the cauldron of memories faces rise smiles that lend luster in happy camaraderie love bondings the drizzle that energized you with hopes the drizzle that energized you once upon a time with so much hope the mind screen fills with that aura those sights and smells memory embers glow while the summer heat penetrates entrails of the tarred world while the summer heat penetrates entrails of the tarred world thank you dears thank you so much that's a you know intense i would say let's talk about you know life you know it's so engaging as you know uh, you know lantern was saying it's indeed an engaging and impactful piece i would say thank you thank you ma'am thank you thank, thank you so much yeah i would say you know i'm such a fortunate fellow you know i'm not you know i'm I, i'm a trivial being you know but uh, when i uh, when i get to listen and get to watch you all i just i'm just thankful i say thanks to my god whoever it may be so i'm just fortunate of you know <laughs> so um, i take this opportunity once again to thank you all again thank you mali ma'am thank you thank you everyone for your patient listening thank you thank you ma'am now i think i go with uh, some um, someone from she is also a poet uh, of you know like she writes so well and she she writes short poems i feel Uh, but uh, so something like Bogdana, but then uh, yes, she is. Oh, oh she is looking beautiful today. I would say. <laughs> uh, no offense if I say anything of. <laughs> she is Gargisha. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Good evening, everyone. Thank you for inviting me. I would like to recite my poem. Dear Mr. Toothpick, you are present in the biggest five-star hotel to the smallest scullery, helping humans keenly by cleaning the teeth mercifully. Alone exist, thin and bare, in the heat, cold, rain and hailstorm, and for us care. You overlook, discard the thorns, and polish, glitter the pearls. How noble is your service! Without you, something is largely amiss. do take good care of your health and be happy ever ready to serve us at lunch and dinner or at a tea party thank you see that is a thing so the beauty of her writing and recitation small that you know beautiful the wonderful ma'am wonderful thanks for coming and thanks keep your spirits on always and keep writing keep inspiring thank you thank you sir thank you so much Thank you, me and thank you everyone thank you ma'am thank you now let me call upon the one i think we have oh he is requesting <laughs> i need some throat issue and so i think i could go i ask rene kuntla murli sir rene kuntla murli to unmute his mic and recite his poem renukuntla murli murli sir kindly unmute your mic sir good evening all good evening sir sir good evening all sir, actually i am very thankful to you sir i have been suffering from sure, seva sure. nasal throat throat infection i have okay. been under treatment sir. yes sorry, sorry for that get well soon sir recite your poem 
watched the match because I never seen such a type of a uh, mini poet among the whole. Thank you to each and every one, sir. Before starting my poem, I would like to recite my poem, sir. Uh, they are called Madhuri Malu. Uh, it is a new poetical writing process introduced today uh, in Telangana. I have written 200 poems, sir. Among them, most of the poems have been published in journals and newspapers also. And uh, out of them, only five poems I would like to recite, say, to give you choice. Then later I can sing a song or uh, leave. Okay, sir? Saiti Madhavar. Am I audible, sir? Okay, sir. Perfect, sir. Perfect. Okay, sir. తల్లిదండ్రులను పూజించి గురువును గౌరవించుము ప్రగతి పదములు నడని నడిచి పే ప్రఖ్యాతులు పొందము జ్ఞానాన్ని కొలవలేము సముద్రాన్ని ఈదలేము జ్ఞానాన్ని కొలవలేము సముద్రము ఈదలేము జాబిల్లిని అందలేము సూర్యుణ్ణి చూడలేము కష్టపడితే ఫలితం ఇష్టపడితే స్వర్గం కష్టపడితే ఫలితం ఇష్టపడితే స్వర్గం లేకపోతే నరకం అంతులేని జీవితం చెట్టుకు కాయ భారమా తల్లికి బిడ్డ భారమా చెట్టుకు కాయ భారమా తల్లికి బిడ్డ భారమా రైతుకు నాగలి భారమా అవనికి మనము భారమా రైతుకు నాగలి భారమా అవనికి మనము భారమా స్వేచ్ఛ లేని మనిషి పంజరలోని పక్షి స్వేచ్ఛ లేని మనిషి పంజరలోని పక్షి తల్లి లేని పిల్లలు గుడి లేని దేవుళ్ళు అమ్మ సేవ మాతృ సేవ నాన ప్రేమ పిత్తు సేవ సంఘ సేవ సామాజిక సేవ మానవ సేవయే మాధవ సేవ మానవ సేవయే మాధవ సేవ సోదరి కన్నీరు అమ్మ శాపము సోదరి కన్నీరు అమ్మ శాపము భార్య దుఃఖము మనకు పాపము మనకు పాపము సార్ థ్యాంక్ యూ సార్ విఫీ తెలుగు సార్ వండర్ఫుల్ సార్ విఫ్ యూ కుడ్ గివ్ ఎ బ్రీఫ్ సమరీ ఐ మీన్ యునో జిస్ట్ ఆఫ్ ఇట్ ఐ ది పీపుల్ ఐ నో పోయిస్ అవుట్ హియర్ కుడ్ అండర్స్టాండ్ డెఫినెట్లీ సార్ సీటింగ్ అండ్ ట్రీ when i was sleeping under the tree once i saw the bird sitting on the tree when i was sleeping under the tree la 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 i saw the ant dawning in the pond i saw the ant dawning in the pond about to a leaf to save the ant a bird flew a leaf to save the ant la 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 and sat on the leaf and reached safely and sat on the leaf and reached the safely to the bank of the pond la 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 bode ke pan alam bode ke pan alam 
God gave light to the ants and that it to the bird. God gave light to the ants and that it to the bird. La 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 la. La 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 la. La 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 la. La 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 la. Human beings should help each other. Human beings should help each other. If we help others, God can help us. If we help others, God can help us. La 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 la. La 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 la. La 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 la. La 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 la. So thank you very much for giving up watching. Thank you. Okay, give it up for Murli Rene Kondla's son. Anybody, we thank you for that. Thank you for all for you to react. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Anybody? Such a great necessity for the child in us. Simplicity and sweetness, so important. So thank you, sir. Actually, I have been suffering, sir. Just lost one month. But I guess I'm better than you. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much. Thank you, sir. On that note, uh, let me call upon the next poet. I would say I cannot describe, so I think I think straight away. <laughs> I take the liberty of you know asking uh, to recite your poem straight away, and uh, she is. Uh, I cannot describe. That is the thing. Sometimes I, you know, it is. The <laughs> Rupali, ma'am. <laughs> पांच मोने पांच मिनट का मोनेट भी नहीं है मेरे पास तो अच्छा फिर तो I I would go with another poet who is very you know loudy poet you know I would say I I think he is very he is very he writes a subtle poems he is quite a you know a handsome guy himself he is Ratan Ghosh Hello. Good evening. Good evening, sir. Welcome yeah. to the show. <laughs> yeah. Uh, am I audible? Perfect. Perfect, sir. Perfect. Uh, thank you. Uh, actually, I was not prepared for this program because I couldn't join in the last two programs. I think I was busy with my academic work. Moreover, I have been working on my two short story book, and that is to be published very soon. That's why I was busy. I was I I was working with that book. Still, I have been uh, still I am working. Um, and the program and the well as i have tried to complete certain other things of my book and i would like to read uh, uh, uh i wrote uh, this uh, uh, i get first key pardon for these because the poem has a contrast part of that which we have to go Oh, Sir, your voice is not clear. Uh, better if you yeah, could. Am I audible now? Am yeah. I now? Yeah. 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 Uh, poetry has no boundary. Poetry speaks about man and the, the gaps. I think. What is felt by the poet? So I, uh, I was deeply moved uh, by a certain event about story. I would like to give a brief note about the story. A uh, woman, around thirty-five, she was pelted and killed. because of certain religious barriers i am not giving uh, the details on that woman on the story of that woman i'm going uh, i actually composed a poem i'm going to read it out the uh, title of my poem suraya suraya i uh, can get her story in google also uh, suraya the living angel of iran I mentioned the name of the country. I shouldn't mention, but still I believe because in order to specify the thing, it's a long poem. I'm reading. Suraya, still I see you emerging alone from the blood-stained stones. Suraya, still I see you emerging alone from the blood-stained stones, from the dead wounded. Jones, from the blood drops of your own, Suraya. Still I hear thy choking, limitless cry. 
Shreya, still I hear thy choking limitless cry, flying and flying in the empty, helpless sky. Shreya, I still hear thy choking limitless cry, flying and flying in the empty, helpless sky. Do not beat it. Do not beat it. Sing thy painted body that collapsed and died in a half buried bed of lust that lied. In a half buried bed of lust that lied. Soraya, still I see the fallen painted stones stained with blood like helpless murdered bones. Stained with blood like helpless murdered bones. Weeping, weeping, and weeping every time while they were thrown. Weeping, weeping, and weeping every time while they were thrown. Upon a daughter, upon a sister, upon a mother, and upon a neighbor, the closely known, the closely known. Shreya, I still see thee, half buried in a land. Shreya, I still see thee, half buried in a land, whimpering, whimpering, and whimpering to know a helpless country stand while you were built it by your own clan. While you were pelted by your own clan in a land with no human, in a land with no human, H U M A N E, human. Soraya, you can't be buried in grave. Soraya, you can't be buried in grave. None can bury thy five senses, though you were born ill fate. None can bury thy five senses. Though you were born ill fate, you were working, waking and waking up to kick the demons in fact. You were waking, waking and waking up to kick the demons in fact. You are not dead. Surya, I see you emerging. Surya, I see you emerging for years and years to sing like the bird of the spring, to sing the songs of justice right equality of human beings suraya walk 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 far and far to see and to greet how your fellow sisters fighting in the street to kill the hungry beasts in the open streets suraya i see you still awake still awake in the street you are nothing nothing and nothing could kill that innocence, nothing, nothing, nothing could kill that innocence from your face, though you were cased, though you were cased in presence of all in a lonely stage, though you were cased in a land of lust, greed and grace, in a land of lust, greed and religious grace. That is the end of the film. Thank you. This is on the story of that lady. Thank you, uh, Prashant. You know, I think that's, you know, you left us speechless, sir. And I would request Harupali, ma'am, to say a few words before reciting your poem. Yes, um, I mean, Dr. Ratan Ghosh is so well known. But, and he is, um, you know, he writes about women's issues. And to be able to, you know, put into poetry uh, an incident that has, you know, touched uh, his heart and touched us by, you know, the way he's recited it. Uh, thank you so much, you know. So these narratives are very important, extremely important that we should, uh, you know, know about them. Thank you so much. No, we Are you able to hear it. me? No, you could restate Okay, you. yes, <laughs> yes. Actually, you know, I had uh, thought of, uh, uh, firstly, thank you, Prasanna, for, you know, this wonderful opportunities that you offer us. Um, I had thought of reading a, you know, a kind of a different poem, but then, you know, when I saw Richard telling us the story of the spider, you know, I think it's so important that, uh, you know, we live with other species. You know, with this thing that, you know, we are God's greatest creation. Uh, we've forgotten all the other creatures. 
so you know i had um, uh, you know you must be knowing the story of the uh, the grasshopper and the ant i think we all know it from school about this grasshopper who kept playing the fool and you know the ant kept saying save something for the rainy day so i have a poem that is actually meant for children also and for adults uh, just remembering but then i'm also retell the narrative in a modern way later not a short one i won't take up too much time so this is called dangle wangle the grasshopper dangle wangle the green grasshopper jumps and hops on the clean green grass his legs are long his eyes are sharp he loves to sing with a harp to hop and jump jump and romp he needs a lot of space he jumps and hops hops and jumps a bright smile on his face and andy saves some candy for a rainy day slow and steady slow and steady he walks all the way dangle wangle laughs and shouts it's the month of may it won't rain you work in vain why do you take so much pain Andy, there's plenty candy. Why do you store for more? Andy, and you're a fool. I don't follow any rule. I don't want to go to school. When thunder shouted oh so loud, drops of rain fell from the cloud. Drip, drop, drip, drop, drip, drip, drop. Dangle, Dangle got so wet he did not have a place to stop. He just could not jump or hop. And Andy stayed at home. He did not want to roam. he stretched his tiny tired feet on a bag of candy sweet and all the while rain kept singing drip drop drip drop drip 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 wet and hungry sad and angry dangle wangle learned the rule when the rain and thunder stop dangle wangle hopped to school dangle wangle grasshopper soon became a class topper dangle wangle grasshopper learned from aunt andy to save some sweet candy for a slushy rainy day so this is the story that we've all known now what happens is that you don't see any grasshoppers these days you know i live in a house where there's a lot of land around but i never see a grasshopper i see everybody and so this is uh, i retell this story as to where are the grasshopper the ant and the grasshopper for some time now i have not seen mosho grasshopper Yes, the same green grass, fun-loving romper. I asked around and drew a blank. Till I met this aging gray ant perched on a plank. It shook its big, sad head and said, "Go look in the nearby malls." Surprise! I asked, "In those concrete halls, the green grass hopper?" Dark clouds were gathering. The ant shook his anxious head again. "I have to go. You see, it's going to rain." But please, please, where is green grasshopper? A trifle irritated, its mouth full of sugar, it mumbled even as the rain clouds grumbled. Grasshopper is a full-time shopper. Where is grasshopper? Grasshopper is a full-time shopper. I later wondered why the ant was all alone. Thank you. Wow. I like the rhyming thing, ma'am. So beautiful. I think the children and kids would like definitely. You know, they they would like this. You know, <laughs> this poem. Thank you so much. Thank you. It should be incorporated so in the books. I think if we uh, yeah, uh, but, you know, <laughs> you know, uh, Richard, uh, Richard read Richard, would like me, and then somebody yeah, else also uh, read a poem on an ant. Yeah. <laughs> exactly ma'am yeah. and I would uh, definitely ask Richard to react on the on your poem. <laughs> Richards Oh Richard Richard got lost <laughs> I I am here if you if you'd like me Yeah if you could like if you would like, I I would ask you to react on Rupali ma'am's poem It and, it's so lovely and to take this ancient lesson and apply it today is something we all need to pay attention to Uh, Dr. Rupali, it was it was beautiful. You did a lovely Thank job. Thank you so with that much. Thank you so Thank much. Thank you so It's much. Thank you so much. Beautiful. Thank you on that note. Thank you, Richard. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you for presenting. You, Molly, ma'am, would like to say some few words. Sure, Molly, sure. sure. Rupali ji, I love the second one the most because it had that punch on it. You know, you have that grasshopper there, the moral, you know. 
this day that's a contemporary reality and every attention is focused on the so called dashing flashing lines that super that particular shop where you step in you can see them there only that's a ground reality how we tend to overlook these tiny but very meaningful i mean things of our time and even i have a sprawling garden i seldom come across that super they are a missing species i think you brought out the point very well thank you thank you so much thank you so much that's the kind of review we wanted <laughs> It's a wonderful man. That's you. You know, you, you pitch perfect. I would say, yeah. Mark the well. Thank you, Rupali, ma'am. Thank you. Thank back you. To, Thank you, Prasad. Back, back to those days of you know, <laughs> you know when we are very much young and we know we are very much innocent. I would say, I don't know. <laughs> Thank you, Malia, ma'am. Thank you, Richard. Now moving on. I think we have few more points left yet. We cannot, uh, you know, discount the fact that all our power, you know, created a niche of themselves. Now the next poet, whom uh, who I would like to call upon, he's he's not only a poet of poet, but he is a singer as well. He he has written more than thirty two books, including children books, and he given he penned the lyrics for, you know. some movies to writing and he is such a humble being i would love him and he is uh, sridharan parakode welcome sir yeah <coughs> i was coming back from the function after attending it a poet's fourth year demise of a poet okay ramman palo you might have heard about it okay this short poem is titled as on the stage on the stage s t a g okay this stage is set for our acting this stage is set for our acting here there is no you and me only characters here there is no you and me only characters characters with the thorough knowledge about the story characters with the thorough knowledge about the story the role sometimes is a short one the role sometimes is a short one but we have to act accordingly but we have to act accordingly a plus is not a topic in it a plus is not a topic in it does the sound how any relevance in light no relevance in light so let us concentrate on light so let us concentrate on light with utmost care with utmost care perfect thank you thank you prasanna ji and always, always you know inner and outer yeah the inner is very most yeah. <laughs> so he always you know present the other day you you grace the you know a solo event and you uh, presented out you know the tour of poems that you know says so much of you know the things about the life and yeah. spirituality and everything that was yeah. something great about your poem short yet you know they are very effective like i said and the bogdan but uh, thank, you. thank you thank you thank, thank you for coming and thanks for patient thanks yeah. for patient listening and watching that's the what that's what we wanted you know unless it's not a, a recital but it's all about <laughs> okay letter. okay okay so Thank you, sir. Thank you, thank you. Thanks, Thanks for your patience. Thanks for coming. And now let me call up on the next poet, who is ah, uh, uh, he is he writes in Russian and he writes in several languages. He's a poet. He's a polyglot. I would say he is Santosh Kumar Pokharal from Nepal. Yeah, no stay, everybody from Nepal. Namaste, and the climate is cool here now. In India, maybe it's a hot still. Thank you, Prasanna, for inviting. So I'm now outside my home for the last uh, two months. As I got his invitation, I tried to be here before you. I see here very well. 
friends whom I met few days, few years. And Dr. Molly Joseph also in Bhuvaneshwar. If I remember in the 39th uh, World Congress of Poets, I was invited for the to attend 41st Congress yeah. of Poets in Ecuador. Yeah. But the plane fare is so high, it has gone high. So I couldn't attend it. Uh, I'm very sorry to miss that. So today, I would like to uh, request for your permission to recite uh, my one poem in Hindi because uh, I have seen that uh, Hindi should also be given priority as uh, some of you here understand and speak Hindi. And then I will recite my another poem in English with your permission. Go ahead with your Hindi poems. Yeah, okay. Thank you very much. Chand or Tare. Ya Ambar Johe, my Aksar Upper Dekta, Ratko. Ya Ambar Johe, my Aksar Upper Dekta, Ratko, Tare, Tum Tamati, Hue, Kush Kareho, Jesse, Dulse. यह अंबर जो है मैं अक्सर ऊपर देखता हूं रात को तारे टमटमाते हुए कुछ कह रहे हो जैसे दूर से और इधर चांद लगता है चुप है और इधर चांद लगता है चुप है तारों से जैसे जलता हो मेरे लिए तो दोनों एक जैसे हैं फिर भी तारे तो तारे हैं चांद आखिर चांद है चांद आखिर चांद है मैं फर्स्ट पोएम Thank you. And my in Hindi, Tasvir Magi. Ne unse jo Tasvir Magi thi. Bata do aaj maine unse jo Tasvir Magi thi. Bhala kya sochta main unki o Tadvir Magi thi. Jinhe main sochta rehta bade dil le nazakat ke unhi se guftugu mein unki o khatir maangi thi kaise main aau bulata bhi nahi koi jo aau kaise main aau bulata bhi nahi koi chala jaau kahin par husn ke dishaye gum hue sare samay bewaq lamhon se na jaanu kaise maine aapki tareef maangi thi na jaane कैसे मैंने आपकी तारीफ मांगी थी वो जन्नत मिल चुका था या बहन था कोई जज्बाती वो जन्नत मिल चुका था या बहन था कोई जज्बाती भरम था ऐसे ही कहने की शायद हो न बर्बादी मुहूर्त वायदे की थी वहां मसरूफ बैठे हैं मुहूर्त वायदे की थी वहां मसरूफ बैठे हैं जो है उम्मीद से जानम गुले जागीर मागी थी जो है उम्मीद से जानम गुले जागीर मागी थी बड़ी थी आरजू मेरी जो उनसे दिल लगाने की बड़ी मुद्दत से हो आया था ख्वाहिश आज माने की बड़ी थी आरजू मेरी जो उनसे दिल लगाने की बड़ी मुद्दत से हो आया था ख्वाहिश आज माने की अभी ओ गुफ्तगू से रूफ बैठे है अभी ओ गुफ्तगू से क्यों मुकर मसरूफ बैठे हैं न वही तस्वीर मांगी थी न जाने कैसे मैंने फिर वही तस्वीर मांगी थी थैंक यू थैंक यू वंडरफुल वाव और गेट टू लिसन योर हिंदी वॉइस एस वेल व्हाट दैट सो प्रोफाइल आई मीन द यूजेस ऑफ वर्ड्स आर दी मे सो ब्यूटीफुल आई मीन से that really talks about you or you know <laughs> knowledge you know on uh, on the command over uh, language yeah that's really wonderful i think i i would like to say something about your first poem jo ratri hai wo ratri hum ghar ke andar chale jate hain aur bahar outside you know we forget the night we come inside our houses very early in the evening and then there is this artificial light 
And we completely forget this wonderful thing that the universe is offering us. And thank you so much. Aapke Kavita mein bhoat sundar. It was very beautifully expressed. Thank you so much. And that note, thank you, ma'am. Thank you, Rupali, ma'am. Thank you, Santosh, sir. Thank you. Molly, ma'am, would like to say something? Yeah, Santosh, I still remember our meeting there at World Conference. Yeah, yeah. Sri Dharan also was there, you know, from Kerala, myself, Sri Dharan, and a few other people. And you rendered nice poems there also. So, so happy to meet you here and to hear your nice poems. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Very nice opportunity. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Now, and Kavi Marpand is also here, our respected one. So we respect him. He is. He has dedicated his whole life to good of literature. Yeah. And he is very reputed and very honorable person. Thank you, thank you. Now, now we are running out of time. So I think we could, we could next we could call up on without wasting much of our time. Prasanna Bhatta sir. Thanks. Prasanji. Sweet evening, sweet poetry friends. Thank you so much. Super duper personality, Mr. Prasad K. Kumar, who invited me to decide my poem. Really, <coughs> Mr. Prasad K. Kumar always thinks I'm going to decide a long, long poem. So today I decided to decide very small two country, one in Hindi and another in English. What I'm going to decide a country is the four words are very popular with the help of the four popular words. I have prepared a country. Jal, Javin, Jangal, Hamara, Jisham, Hai. Jal, Javin, Jangal, हमारा जिस्म है लूट रहा है किस्मत वाला लूट रहा है किस्मत वाला बोल कर देश को समार सेवा मगर मगर हम हम रहे हैं भिखारी पिला भिखारी पिला beautiful sir beautiful so I got to listen <laughs> Taught you continued, you know, like Santosh Kumar Bograh, sir. You know, you recited in Hindi, and thank you, thank you for presenting your Hindi. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. The best of the eye. I read you. The blind is not blind in eye. The blind is not blind in eye, having no eyes. Who can see all in third eye? The blind is blind to his eye, having eyes. The blind is blind to his eye, having eyes, who cannot see the evil and wrong dark eye, wrong dark eye. Yeah. In the end of my poem. Thank you so much. Wonderful, sir. Wonderful, sir. Thank you. Thank you for presenting your beautiful poem, one in Hindi and one in English. Thank you, sir. I was in. <laughs> That's wonderful to get to listen in Hindi yours, of yours. Uh, now, moving on, our next poet is very active. She is Francesa. Francesa is, you know, is a well known author, well known, you know, open mic artist, performer. Francesca. Francesa. Yes. Um, this past week, in Nashville, Tennessee, we have lost a wonderful, wonderful artist that was like a mother to all of us. She was Loretta Lynn and she was a coal miner's daughter. I just wanna speak on her and say a few things in honor of her today, just because 
she was one of our heroes and she lived to be 90 years old. She had twins and I lived in the same area many of the times that she did. And I also spent some time in the past few years um, in her dressing room, even after COVID, she lost her uh, dedicated farm hand uh, to the flood that came to her farm. He was out trying to save her tractor. Um, that was kind of sad, but I know that broke her heart. And I know that she's been fighting health battles for a very long time. So I'll just leave you with this. I will sing a little bit of her song so that you guys understand a little bit about how um, you know, much love she shared with all of us about her life. So I was born a coal miner's daughter back there in the hills of Butcher Holler. We was poor, but we had love. That's the one thing that daddy made sure of. I'm proud to be a coal miner's daughter. That's just a little bit because I don't want to like take, you know, more time but I just want to tell you guys you guys mean a lot to me all over the world and I've been so blessed to have traveled almost all over the world and I plan to go back again when I can to visit people and see them again because it's very important that we all feel like family feel that love and thank you so so very much for sharing your show with all of us because we love you and thanks so much. Francesca we, Kirkpatrick from Nashville, Tennessee. Tennessee, we, are, we love you. In fact, we are we are blessed to have you, Francesca, I must say. You know, we are just getting together, you know, and that's you, you've given a tribute, I would say. That's a wonderful tribute, even a short, you know, you can give an introduction for all of us. Um, thanks for coming. Thanks for, you know, honoring the show. And like you said, you know, Thank you, and I wish all the best for you at your upcoming interviews. Now, I would like to call upon our guitar player from Indonesia, Pentas Pangi Hutan. How? Lakshman Rao said, <laughs> join. <laughs> Lively, spirited, and Pentas Pangi Hutan, sir. Uh, you could. Go ahead with your poem before I would just ask her, Lakshman Rao, sir, <laughs> by a penthouse. Do you want me to recite my poem? Penthouse, penthouse. Penthouse, okay. Penthouse, kindly unmute your mic. Oh, sorry, sorry. Yeah, yeah. That's yes, a sort of confusion. I... That is what I was <laughs> Audible, sir? Yeah, sure. All right. Uh, so, uh, thank you so much for, <clears throat> for the wonderful night, poetic evening. Uh, now, uh, first, I want to recite my poem and then uh, followed by song, uh, Walk Away. From Matt Monroe. <clears throat> so uh, here is uh, my poem Heaven. Heaven is a holy place for the righteous lovers, for a humble, noble heart, clean and poor as crystal, a true happiness being logic. A lovely place beyond wonders, where spirit of love never die, where the flowers always bloom, where the spirit souls live forever. A river of life that will never dry, a home of our creator, a home without neon lights, Cause night no more. The road made of poor gold, no more morning sun or night moon, no more tears, no more sorrows, full of peace and joy forever. A child 
place with a lion. Unspeakable of wonders, beyond imagination, so divine. That's my poem. Thank you. Wonderful, wonderful. <laughs> yeah, and it's, beautiful uh, poem. Beautiful. Mm, thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you, madam. Uh, so uh, <clears throat> I'll play my guitar. Uh, oh, sorry. Oh. With the same poem, with the same with the guitar, or, uh, or else a new poem altogether? Uh, this is our uh, only song, uh, Walk okay. Away, uh, from uh, Matt Monroe, 1963. Wow. <laughs> Enjoy the song. Thank you for listening. Thank you for listening. 
my dear. Thank you so much, Personal G, and all our dear friends. Wonderful. That's good. That's why I call uh, it. Brother Pangu Thon is multi talented poet and singer and musician, and he is a very kind poet. So he has, you, he has helped you. me a few times. He yeah. has translated my poems into his language. So I want to express my gratitude to this kind man. He is very kind hearted. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Such a Thank golden you, voice, Madhu. Such a golden voice. You are specially Thank gifted. You. Yeah. Thank you, Molly man. Thank you. We are, we are very happy to hear it. We enjoyed yeah. it. Oh, I'm I'm so, so glad. Thank you yeah. with that. Happy too. evening. Thank you, Pentos. Thank you, Gita. And, and, and the good face. God lover. Thank you. God Thank lover. You. Thank you. Thank you, Pangutan, my friend, my brother. Yes, sir. Thank yeah, my brother. Thank you. God bless all. Thank you. Uh, now, let me call upon our next poet. He's very much active, very well. He's, uh, I mean, he's right short poses, but he, you know, he, is, he too is a singer as well. And uh, you know, he's, he's in a legal profession. He's Kamal Pundir, the advocate of <laughs> the advocate. Kamal Pundir, sir, mm -hmm. we are honored to have you always. Am I asking you know, okay, so now, now I start over. हाथ फैलाए या मर जाए बोलो हाथ फैलाए या मर जाए बोलो अश्क लेकर किधर जाए बोलो अश्क लेकर किधर जाए बोलो और जेब में फूटी कोड़ी नहीं है आप पेमेंट नहीं करते हो हमें ये दुख रहता है <laughs> कि जेब में फूटी कोड़ी नहीं है गम में अपनी ये उम्र जाए बोलो गम में अपनी ये उम्र जाए बोलो और जिंदगी हादसों की जद में है जिंदगी हादसों की जद में है जहर पी ले के मुकर जाए बोलो जहर पी ले के मुकर जाए बोलो वाह 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 नाइस शुक्रिया शुक्रिया और ये देखने से भी जितने भी लिखने वाले रचनाकार राइटर्स होते हैं प्लेटफॉर्म नहीं मिल पाता है तब क्या होता है कि मैंने देखा है कलमकारों को फुटपाथों पर मैंने देखा है कलमकारों को फुटपाथों पर मुफलिसी में ये हुनर जाए बोलो मुफलिसी में ये हुनर जाए बोलो और सामने रेल आने वाली है सामने रेल आने वाली है जहां से जाए या ठहर जाए बोलो जहां से जाए या ठहर जाए बोलो और हम मिटा देंगे सारी जुलमत को हम मिटा देंगे सारी जुलमत को जंग में चाहे ये सर जाए बोलो जंग में चाहे ये सर जाए बोलो और बामाल हैं सारे तेरे ख्याल ये प्रसन्न जी आपके लिए कि बा कमाल हैं सारे तेरे ख्याल हम अपने ख्याल लेके किधर जाएं बोलो हम अपने ख्याल लेके किधर जाएं बोलो और तेरी शायरी के आगे तेरी शायरी के आगे नतमस्तक हैं हम तेरी शायरी के आगे नतमस्तक हैं हम बेबहर करते रहें कि डर जाएं बोलो बेबहर करते रहें कि डर जाएं बोलो हाथ फैलाएं या मर जाएं बोलो अश्क लेकर किधर जाएं बोलो और कुछ शेर तरन्नु में जो मेरा स्टाइल है तो वो सुनाता हूँ बहुत गहराई में है तो आप समझने की कोशिश करें जो जमाना चल रहा है दो तीन उसके ऊपर कहता हूँ दो तीन शेर कहता हूँ उससे पहले 
कि हमारा भी दुश्मन है कोई हमारा भी दुश्मन है कोई खुला मुझ पे तो पता चला है खुला मुझ पे तो पता चला है और ये भी देखें कि लटकी भारी भारी रहती हैं उसके खाबों में लटकी भारी भारी रहती हैं उसके खाबों में हमारी पलकें उसी का बोझ उठाए रहती हैं हमारी पलकें उसी का बोझ उठाए रहती हैं और इतना हल्का भी नहीं जितना दिखता हूं इतना हल्का भी नहीं जितना दिखता हूं मैं परत दर परत रोज खुला करता हूं मैं परत दर परत रोज खुला करता हूं और ये तरन में दो तीन शेर पढ़ता हूँ फिर वाणी को विराम देता हूं मैं कि जमाना चल रहा अपनी चाल कदम कदम जमाना चल रहा अपनी चाल कदम कदम इन हवाओ में ओ इन हवाओ में ओ खून मिला दू क्या इन हवाओ में ओ खून मिला दू क्या और तेरी कड़वी जबान में लो है आज कम तेरी कड़वी में लो है आज कम कहे तो इस में और दूब मिला दू क्या कहे तो इस में और दूब मिला दू क्या और सर्द रात की चुभन ऐठे बदन में है सर्द रात की चुभन ऐठे बदन में है इसमें जरा मध्यम सी इसमें जरा मध्यम सी धूप मिला दू क्या इसमें जरा मध्यम सी धूप मिला दू क्या और तेरी शक कुछ मुरझाई सी है आज तेरी शक कुछ मुरझाई सी है आज अपना जरा सा अपना जरा सा नूर मिला दू क्या अपना जरा सा नूर मिला दू क्या और आखिरी शेर करता हूँ इस कड़ी का कि इतनी जो कर रहे हो तारीफ मेरी इतनी जो कर रहे हो तारीफ मेरी इस सच में थोड़ा सा झूठ मिला दू क्या इस सच में थोड़ा सा झूठ मिला दू क्या जमाना चल रहा पुनी चाल कदम कदम इन हवाओ में और खून मिला दू क्या 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 शुक्रिया कहना आपका फिर आप तो एकदम आई लाइक द द द द वे यू यू नो नो 
वो मेंटेन कर रहे हैं करते हैं ना जो आप जब पढ़ते हैं बहुत बहुत को बहुत को एनीबॉडी वुड लाइक टू रिएक्ट ऑन यू नो तारीफ कर ली नहीं नहीं सच में झूठ मिला दूंगा नहीं तुम्हें नहीं इनकी जो स्टाइल है ये कॉम्बिनेशन ऑफ पोइट्री एज वेल एज द लिरिकल राइटिंग सो यू कैन मिक्स एंड मैच बोध टूगेदर बेनिफिट्स एक्सक्लूडेड फ्रॉम लिरिकल पोइट्री it can be uh, written or read as a poetry by itself and when you give tune to it like it's a all together uh, what do you call a song song that way thank you sir yeah. uh, meena meena i i don't i would like to say a few things uh it's not that my my hindi urdu and all is not that great jo mujhe samajh mein aaya aapne sara inqilab hai kuch आपके कविता में छुपा हुआ इंकलाब है समथिंग दैट इज यू आर ट्राइंग टू से एंड आई थिंक दैट रेवोल्यूशनरी स्पिरिट इज देयर बट केप वेरी क्वाइट एंड सचारिकल थैंक यू सो मच जी मैंने बहुत मैम जी हैं बहुत मिक्स किया है बहुत सफाई के साथ किया है किसी को महसूस भी नहीं किया इट्स पुट इट इन अ वेरी सटल वे बहुत ही सुंदर पोएम था बहुत ही सुंदर पोएट्री और गजल ब्यूटीफुल मैंने भी इनकी तारीफ की थी जब मैं पह, मिली पहली बार तो शायद उसके ऊपर ही इन्होंने कहा होगा <laughs> बहुत सुंदर बहुत ही सुंदर ब्यूटीफुल and there was in so to say there was a tranquility atmosphere in theater with your poem thank you thank you so much god bless you thank you thank you thank all you. now let me mute all and uh, uh, let me welcome prabhat kumar mishra sir as a well known poet and he writes in odia he english yeah bahut badhiya re papa ek Am I audible, sir? Perfect, sir. Perfect. Audible, sir. Am I audible? Perfect, perfect, sir. Audible, sir. Okay. Okay. Microphone is on. On mute. Okay, na. So first and foremost, I would like to express my heartfelt welcome to each one of you. Ah, uh, here is Kumar Punnima, sir. Sir, the Punnima. So uh, on this auspicious eve, ah, uh, from Jagannath Puri. to enter world including prasanna sir our very beloved anchor here and uh, i express my heartfelt thanks and uh, in uh, sanskrit it is told that jivane saratang satar the the running season is sarata rutu atam season so it is the most beautiful season and uh, the program you are having now is so much beautiful that i cannot uh, uh, express in words anyway uh the title of my poem is the time <clears throat> what a way what a way neither solitude nor crowd it is so still in sound sleep no say to rest a while no cloud that may chill a little oh i find none to have a chat <clears throat> oh i find none to have a chat alas Alas, so many golden moons and eves so juicy. I have lost somewhere perhaps. Alas, so many golden moons and eves so juicy. I have lost somewhere else perhaps. It seems that cosmic feet appear. It seems that cosmic feet appear are on a ceaseless march from time unknown unto a destiny. never to end on to a destiny never to end what a project fill what a project fill all around what a project fill all around somebody was there that sang with me somebody was there that sang with me the song of life low broken is the tune 
Lo, broken is the tune, the singer missed. I am all alone now. I am all alone, mustering to rediscover it once again to live, once again to live. Thank you so much for paying me attention. Brilliant, so sir. Brilliant, brilliant, brilliant presentation. <laughs> wonderful, wonderful presentation. Wonderful questions. Now let me call upon Aftab. After we could unmute your mic. After Tariq. Okay. Yeah. Am I audible, sir? Perfect, perfect. Go ahead. Okay, just wait a while, sir. Okay, am I visible? No, no, no. We could hear you, but... Uh, uh, but uh, still then I will add my phone. Am I audible? Yes, perfect. You could read out your poem. That's okay. Okay, sir. Uh, unfortunately, my connection is weak here. It is internet problem. Uh, uh, still then I will try to recite my poem. Yeah. Okay. The title of my poem is Peace. The title of my poem is Peace of Soul. I seek it everywhere, my chum. In woods, in mountains, in rivers, with friends on a beautiful picnic day, even in lush green meadows and fields, on the banks of Syrian sea, on which a white yacht floating to its destiny. I seek it along the midway of forests, on which a herd of deer is walking. I seek it sitting alone in a mound, looking at a white float cloud floating aloof. I seek it at dusk, looking the setting sun, even resting on grass under the shady tree. Why it is not I, but I didn't, my friend. Then one day I found it in me, yes, in me, as had helped someone in thy need, those drenched, those drenched eyes, that beautiful smile, now makes my days made my life a helping hand is the peace of soul thank you wow that's a soothing recitation my dear brother wonderful at last you made it you know thanks for presenting your beautiful poem i would say am i uh, visible yeah, now you're visible uh, thank you for presenting your beautiful one thanks for coming now last but not least i would like it's to call up yeah now I would like to call upon Dr. Sushri Sudita Mishra from Puri. I yes, sir. Oh, yeah. I, I have a little poem small, but, but. Yeah, Sudipta, ma'am, continue. Yes, sir. Let me recite my poem. Actually, today is a grand festival in Odisha. It is Kumar Bunima. And I was busy in celebrating my festival. And I joined so late. Sorry, so sorry. Let me recite my poem. I am visible. Question said I am visible. Perfect, 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 perfect. Okay. A letter to myself. A new dawn is heralding to dispel the fear of my mind. Existed with the dead systems, I desire to retire from this wearied world. Everyone is changing something. Every day, I console my disgruntled soul. I'm a failed soldier in this rat race. I'm eager to face the dire consequences of this rebellion. But do I need to move on? The fragility of life is known to everyone. Still, they intervene and negotiate with their wants. They try to conspire, struggle, to become a demigod, but they fell. At that time, I went. The worthless life giggles with me, and I silently sit and release. And I know, and I can hear the wells and the sounds of known figures. And I pray for all, like bubbles, dissolved in the onsen sphere. Everything will disappear. Everything will disappear with me and with you. If you allow, then I will read 
one poem that is dedicated to this full moon night. May I be allowed? Okay, wait. If it is short, it's okay. Yes, yes, it is so short. The bliss of full moon night, Kumar Punima. At the onset of the first full moon. Ma'am, kindly unmute your mic. I just accidentally got. Kindly unmute your mic. Yeah. Maybe audible? Yes, yes, perfect. Yes, go. Okay. The bliss of full moon night. <coughs> At the onset of the first full moon day of Ashwina month, we celebrate the much awaited carnival of our hearts. Young girls of Odisha cherish for their would be partners. Together they cheer for a twinkling future. With the silky, shiny moon of the other sky, they dance and sing with spirits high, soaring moods, exalt their emotion. They chant and fast with sheer devotion. Kumar Punima is coming soon. In the glory of October, the girls of Odisha dance with revelry and elation. Floral designed walls adorn with sweet memories of past. Stand as silent speakers of the unforgettable festivals. Echoes of the humming noises of girls fill our souls with much trepidation. The rhythm of their anklets reverberates with their excitement. With new outfits, they fast. By glorifying the aura of the sun and the moon, the people of Odisha also welcome Goddess Lakshmi. They drape their essence with new dresses. Together, they gather around the Vasil tree to spiritually merge into the divine flames. Beautiful, man. Beautiful. Go on. Thank you. <laughs> That's a nice dedication on this fish, fish, to, fish to day, I would say. Now, let me call upon the lost poet. I think he's been waiting for a long and I don't know. But Lakshman, sir, I, how could I miss you? <laughs> you are the last poet. You are going to be the last poet. So, the last poet, sir. You are con congratulating me for being the last poet. Of <laughs> okay, cool then. <laughs> so, everything ends, and from there on, it starts. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so, it ends with me, and from next week, it starts from. Okay. Yes. Okay. Well, well, this is a poem like uh, Newborn Mothers. The title of the poem is. Sir, I believe like it's audible. The uh, title of my poem is like newborn mothers. Instead of newborn babies, I titled it as newborn mothers. The reason is like, I'll just give a gist of it. Like uh, nowadays, like the celebrities, they have this photo shoot, ba baby bump photo shoot. Okay, very, very not. Uh, at once, like whenever the mother was conceived, she, she was like sacred. Uh, she, she, she used to be worshipped. As a ritual, there was rituals and rites. Now, when 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 a woman is conceived, like uh, th there's a baby bump photo shoot. So based on that, like I have this poem here. So just let me go ahead. This newborn mothers. There was an age when the women who were conceived were blessed with rituals for bringing the motherhood for of fertility into the creative cognizance of the cosmos. They used to cover the belly of the new blossom flower within the shards of saris and with the pallu of the off tone fabrics to conceal and cover from the evil spirits. While now, the womb of a woman is portrayed, picturized, to show the skin business and to allure the, to allure the media moguls and mean minds. Do the intellectual minds need to know all this? What brave is a woman who wants to express, expose her cleavage? What brave is a woman who wants to expose her cleavage? The milk bustling bo bosom to a photographer who zooms in to show the sweat amidst the breast where baby feeds on. In the name of baby shower, should the wannabe mother showcase their half nudity 
to the onlooker of magazines for a price that for the for the price that they sell their skin and their samman for the price that they sell their skin and their samman i rupali ma'am i request you to put some my goodness my goodness this is something uh, out of the box <laughs> yeah i think for me it's out of the box the reason is like i as you know like i try to bring in only the poetic ideologies into picture but this is something out of the box like i brought in yeah uh, after seeing sonam's uh, baby photo shoot i wrote this poem <laughs> let me unmute all i mean uh, everybody give it up for lakshman rao sir i would especially request la rupali ma'am or molly joseph man frances if if she would we react on lakshman rao sir poem go ahead i think we'll wait for dr molly joseph <laughs> to do it <laughs> Yes, uh, Dr. Rao and uh, Lakshman Rao and uh, Rupali Ji. I have developed a kind of an outlook where these days we need to give wide berth to different ways of looking at things. Of course, the corporate culture is destroying our rural simplicity or our religious anchoring. I understand. but we live in a world for example this is a baby shower is a concept that we have borrowed from the west they do celebrate it make it a big hangama over there you know my own niece there send me so many photo shoots of her and all same thing that you said about you know maternity for generation i told her we were hiding it and we are keeping it as something of a precious treasure yes ma'am exposing but it yeah but is it uh, is it a skin business sort of thing that is what i am asking there like when the celebrities they want to show their baby bump is it a uh, skin business that they are doing yeah commodification is happening yeah. a kind of marketing and commodification there's a secret agenda behind it but in personal household family women do celebrate their maternity for example i was telling you about my niece it is within her household she was doing it she was wearing a crown she is taking sideways and uh, all these uh, detailed kind of you know her maternal state and all that and then i thought oh god times have changed let's give a wide berth to things the new generation things they should celebrate it that way but i i agree to your point that there is a kind of skin business commodification corporate making women an object that part is definitely there once it is exposed to the public that part i agree but i give a slight deviance to total negation of this kind of celebration especially in the personal household okay celebration like, within ourselves that's good ma'am when yes. but when it when it when you want to show it to other people yeah. okay in the half nudity of it is half dress of yours so what sort of uh, pride you have what yes. what sort of pride you are bringing to your the humanness when yes. you are conceived you are bringing the mother of goddesses into yes. fertility mother goddesses fertility into your being okay yes. so when you want to showcase uh, your off nudity what pride and what uh, for what pride and what shame yeah it brings more shame than pride that's what i believe yeah so yeah that this is, is what i i brought in this is what i voice you brought in a sane outlook and sane voice on it yeah thank you thank you thanks, thanks. you know i think i think that perhaps the way you have, we have to look at it is that we are breaking the stereotype you know in the indian culture also uh, when a girl begins to menstruate there is a lot of exhibition of that you know in the south of india i have seen that you know they set the girl out she be dressed up and she be paraded so you know the, the womanhood uh, to be shown or showcase Uh, it is it's it, it should not be something to be embarrassed about if you see village women uh, they will breastfeed their child even in a bus and an urban woman will hide somewhere you know and then breastfeed the child you know so uh, we have probably got used to this hiding and so on so if there is a celebration and in a modern way and you know what when film stars and people like that 
do it, you know. I mean, somebody like me or, you know, anybody else from a family, um, uh, you know, middle class family, we won't. Uh, there is nothing wrong in looking at it in a different way that's a commodification. If uh, by celebrating motherhood, uh, rather than, uh, you know, constantly the wife, you know, the woman as wife, but the woman as mother, you know, and celebrate it. And we do it in, in tribal culture, it is there. Uh, it is there in, uh, even as I said, in South India. I mean, for me, I would be very shocked that, you know, if a girl is uh, the, come of age by menstruating, then she is paraded, she's made to sit outside, she's dressed up, and the whole world is... Uh, could we then criticize that? No. We, we take it as, take it for granted that this is a very wonderful thing. But I, coming from another culture, I feel embarrassed, you know, that they're doing this to a young girl. So I think we should look at it with a, a more open, uh, you know, minded view. But your poem is also looking at it from your point of view. So there, we're not critiquing your poem. We're looking at it how you you look at the, you know, look at the whole business of the baby something, bump. Ma'am, there are two points here. See, uh, I, in this poem, what I've adapted is like this one ritual part of it. Like when where, uh, when a woman conceives, like the, there's a celebration, there's a ritual for it. Okay. In, in our Hindu tradition, from uh, Kashmir to Kanyakumari, we have a tradition. We celebrate that. But nowadays, like in the name of baby shower, we have a photo shoot. Create a photo shoot of what? The body, body shaving. So this is the, this is the point that I'm raising here. You may not accept, you may accept or may not accept. That's left to everybody's perspective. But uh, the point what I what I tried to bring is like, uh, does the woman bring in pride or else the shape to herself? It's left to her. What she is warning with that. So it's a debatable point to herself. It's a debatable person, no doubt about it. Yeah. No doubt about it. See, and in every culture, every tradition, herself, every and kind we, of celebration we have, we yeah. take in the wicked forms. Even yeah. about this, marriages, you yeah. take in everything, you know, like, like the one you share, shared, you know, baby showers. Baby showers, that is nothing but, you know, cementum. That is what we can yeah, uh, take. We have as, celebrations. Nobody else has celebrations. Cementum is something considered to be, you know, uh, the, 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 that's a kind of, you know, place. Ritual. But then, you know, every form has every celebration is taken as, you know, in a modern way, like Mom and Molly have said, and Rupali Ma'am said, taken a wicked form, you know, taking a wicked form, something, somewhat other way. So, <laughs> you know, it's up to the mindset of the people that, you know, something. Yeah, it is indeed a debating, you know, point, you know, a lot had to be, you know, taken, points to be taken into consideration. Yeah, it's nothing it, personal like, like whatever it's happening in society, like we yeah, just... it's our perspective and it's their perspective and it's their lifestyle, you know, their western. Look at the skin. I don't have anything to about them. Exactly. They can show their uh, skin, uh, either it's a skin business or whatsoever, uh, film business or whatsoever it is. But I'm uh, raising a point about a womanhood, like uh, either she's bringing the pride of womanhood into the uh, nature, into the society, or else she is bringing the shape to herself. Yeah. It's not like think, everyone, you know, it's yeah. not like yeah. everyone they are doing, you know, it's like you know uh, the other side of it. Yeah. So the to... amount of skin, the amount of skin that is shown when you wear a sari <laughs> is unbelievable. <laughs> exactly. That is and one the, that is the important in the, thing. In the way in in a way, in the West, they won't let you wear a sari to the office because you're showing so much skin. But we've got used to it. We call it very graceful. Sari is so beautiful. But the amount of skin that the woman shows when she wears a sari, no, ma'am. We're used to it. No, uh, <laughs> what I mean to say, ma'am, like uh, you might have seen Vipasha Basu's uh, photo shoot. No, no, something. you, sir, this is going uh, live, so you cannot take oh, contra, you know. Yeah. So you yeah. need to. Names. Okay, no, no. then <laughs> let me point out the show. <laughs> Thank okay, you. Now, so, Prasanna, I, please I had a good show. <laughs> <laughs> because, you know, Facebook, uh, yeah, I I remind you, Facebook restricts some of the words, so oh. uh, all the words, uh, some words, uh, words are censored, so. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I agree. Yeah. 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 Cool, so, sir. Thanks a lot for giving up on the show. You know, <laughs> respect all the cultures and I uh, this all independent views, independent perspectives. So Absolutely. Absolutely. Uh, we don't have it to say. We could present our view and that is something, you know, from our side. That is what. I think our view to our perspective. So. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. <laughs>
Having said, let me wind up the show and uh, you know. No, uh, you're going to read your poem, Prasanna. Okay, ma'am. Okay, just. Okay, you know, Prasanna sir. You, you yeah. said you're a poet. If you yeah. were not a poet, then it's different. Yeah. You have to read, yes. Somebody said that I'm a poet. I don't know whether I'm a poet or a writer or, or a layman. I don't know. But then this poet has been chosen as an editor choice. I didn't just randomly scribble and it's been selected as a editor choice from, from, I mean, by Miraki. Dreams of. I walked into dreams of hollowness where they were hiding in the nook of darkness. I touched and tapped with their shoulders nudged and asked them to come out of sadness. Well, as persuaded, yielded they showed me images wherein I <laughs> jumped to immerse myself in the enigmatic shades. These hues of lights and dusky dandelions touched my essence in the rhapsody of mystical resonance. I walked up to kiss the stars. By now, the morning bell rang and woke me up, calling me Calling, calling to wipe the eyes and watch the dreams of reality as they unfold. So that's <laughs> talking about dream. Wonderful. I, I don't know why it has been chosen as an editor choice by Miraki. <laughs> and it's Thank as well. you. And let me tell you, Rupali, ma'am. Uh, let me share an insight, you know, anecdote. Uh, this 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 poem is inspired by the. A prompt given by in fact it's uh, 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 Prignya Bespai ma'am who forwarded uh, yes, uh, some you know anthology uh, yeah. prompt so I just have written and randomly and just you know forwarded it and it just happened to be so I was thankful to Prignya ma'am you know <laughs> for nudging me to write something like this <laughs> I don't know <laughs> so I, I can never put you and your poem to poems together because uh, the person that uh, person your persona and your poems are so different you know they're so <laughs> serious you know they take you into other worlds uh, thank you so much persona thank, thank you ma'am thank you ma'am thank you persona thank you so much bye bye thank you mina ma'am keep coming thank you, you. thank you sri dhanan sir molly ma'am thank you everyone it is great thank you thank you, thank you. Thank you.